Hey friends, welcome to this video. I thought I'd talk a little bit about laces today. Weird topic, but should be good. I know for myself, I don't enjoy tying up laces, undoing laces. They can come out and you have to retie them every so often. I like to just have a shoe that I can just slip it on and go. So luckily I found two sort of products that are conducive for this and are a replacement to conventional laces. The one being lock laces. and the other being tacky ties. I guess I do like things a lot simpler, a lot more convenient. Just on that note, check out this video over here if you'd like to know about attachment and more simplicity in life. So from the two types of laces, the lock laces are pretty cool. They are a stretchy, sort of elastic-y lace that you can just use and it has a clip to maintain the tightness of however tight you want the laces to be or however you, however tight you want the, the shoe to be. So these are the lock laces. That's the stretchy bit as you can see and then that's the clip that you can use to maintain the tightness of the lace on the shoe. What's really cool is that because of the elasticity and the stretchiness of it, maintain a certain tightness and then just slip your shoe on and off because of the stretchiness. So for example, in this shoe, it's a high top shoe, but you can see the lock laces there and how the clip works in order to maintain the tightness of the shoe. And you can see how simple and easy it is to use. No tying of laces, no undoing of laces, that sort of thing, which is really cool, I think. Now the tacky ties are a lot more simple. They're just silicone, slightly elastic pieces that you can pop into the holes where your laces go. There's one tacky tie for each set of holes going down your shoe. You can see it in this Adidas shoe, how it looks. So yeah, so I think the benefits are pretty, pretty self-explanatory and I mean you can see it just makes it so much easier, more convenient to slip your shoes on and off. You don't have to tie laces. You know, you can always tighten it a bit more if it's not tight enough or loosen it very easily by moving the clip where you want it to be. The only negative aspect of the lock laces for me was that sometimes the clip can get in the way. So for example, let's say you are at the gym and you are using the punching bag to do some kicks. You kick the bag and it's a hard bag that clip can go, can have a sort of an irritating effect and can become sore when you're kicking the bag and, that, and you're hitting that clip onto your foot. That's why with these shoes, I took out the clip just to make it a, a lot easier and not have to deal with that. The benefits of the tacky ties are also pretty much the same. No need for tying laces. You can just slip your shoe on and off. The downside to them is that, you know, there's, there's one level of tightness that you can have on that shoe because you can't really adjust them. But luckily there are quite a number of sizes on the various tacky ties that you get. So I'm sure it should have you covered. One thing though to be careful with the tacky ties is if you have a very narrow shoe, like for example on this one, I did notice that because the space is quite narrow for the lace holes and it kind of slims down towards the bottom, it can get quite tight. So I would say these would be suited for certain types of shoes that are not so narrow. But I guess it also just depends on one's foot, one's uh, size of shoe, that sort of thing. It's definitely worth a try. So yeah, thanks for watching. I thought I'd just do this quick video just to show how these two types of laces work. And you know, if you were looking at trying to find alternatives or looking at getting any of them, hopefully this helped and you know, shed some light on the topic. So yeah.